Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm a full-time reseller, mostly on Poshmark Canada and US here in Calgary. That's where I'm based. And today's video is gonna be a bins haul. I haven't done a bins haul in a long time because usually when I go, I get so much stuff that it would just be a three hour long video. But I think this one is 26 items. It was when I went to the bins on Friday. Today is Monday. So I checked out from the bins so fast because um, I like super last minute was going to go to the Amazon liquidation bins here in Calgary. Um, there's a girl that was at the bins, Savvy, who I was like, oh, she had a time slot to go like a reservation and I was like oh I wonder if I can just try to do like the no-show um lineup and try to get in and she's like oh I have an extra reservation why don't you come with us and I was like ah oh. okay so <laughs> and it was in like 15 minutes so we had to like check out and go quick so I do not really remember what I got I remember one thing so let's see what I got together Okay, this I remember actually, because I was excited to wear this, but it's just like an oversized burgundy sweatshirt. It's an extra large and made in the USA. So this should be, let's see if I can, I didn't, I don't check comps when at the bins because it's just, they make us wear gloves and it's a pain. So I'm going to estimate how much I think I can resell for. This item, I think easily $15 to $18. These are going to be made into cutoffs. They are, um, I don't know what brand they are. Oh, Kirkland. So when I get Kirkland jeans to cut into cutoffs, I just rip this whole thing off. Um, so yeah. So these will be made into cutoffs, which I will list for 50 and send offers for 35 and do closet clear out for like 36. This is for my friend, she's having a baby and it's a girl blanket and we don't know if she's having a girl or a boy. So if she's having a boy, I will just sell it. <laughs> and she's like very newly pregnant. So we're not gonna know for a while. This is, oh, I'm going to keep this. It's an Ikea rug, just like that sheepskin. Maybe I'll put it on Marketplace, but I might keep it for um, staging things to sell on Marketplace. But it's just like that faux sheepskin that everyone has. What else do I have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Tallulah. This is a Noritzia brand, and it's their trooper jacket. So it's kind of hard to see. I bought one of these off of someone on Instagram. It's a super just like classic, um, like cargo utility jacket, zip up. It's longer and I think this is a small. Yeah, it's a small. That I would probably hope to get between 35 and 44. Like I said, I haven't checked comp, so this is just like off the top of my head, what I'm hoping for. This is Zara. I love selling Zara, honestly. This might find, someone asked me about a mystery box, so we'll see, she might end up with this. But it's just like a super cute lavender color um, pullover. It's so soft. And it's a large, that uh, checks out. Next is this. Me and my graphic tees. I don't know why I'm obsessed. Oh, I forgot about this. Joshua Tree National Park. I love Joshua Tree National Park. I went there with my dad a few years ago. My poor dad. I was so cranky that day. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't even know if I got out of the car. I was just like so over it. Whatever it was, I was just like not having a good time that day. Whoops, so I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> So anyway, Joshua Tree National Park, 
uh, just like a crew neck. It's a size large. So this, again, 15 to 18, hopefully. Um, these are jeans. Oh, just Old Navy Rockstar. These usually sell decently for me. Um, and they're a size 10, so that's my size. They're in decent shape. I don't see some obvious puckering right now, but sometimes you have to like hold them at an angle to like see it. Um, but I don't really see any. So anyway, size 10, black, skinny jeans, old navy. They do have some wash wear, but like I, these are my size, so I'll end up wearing these. I'll probably list them. When I list them, I'll probably hope for like 20. Next, let's see what I got. These are Tallulah, which is an Aritzia brand. Like I said, same as the Trooper jacket. And this is a size 25. So they're pretty tiny, but um, oh, they're so wrinkled. But they're like a raw hem skinny jean. And they are in great condition. Again, I don't really, I don't, it's hard to see if there's like puckering when they're this wrinkled, maybe like a little bit. Um, puckering isn't really visible when you wear them unless it's like really bad. So I'll pick up pants with puckering. I don't care. I disclose it, obviously. This is my favorite find of the day. It's my very first time finding this brand. And they are Escada pants. And they're just like white, kind of flare. They will need an OxyClean soak. I feel like I found uh, there were a couple spots on them where. Oh, yeah. There was like. So, I'm, I mean. I paid a dollar for them, so it's not a huge deal if they don't come out, but I'm really hoping they do, obviously. So those will get the full stain removal treatment. treatment, OxyClean, um, grandma's favorite, all that stuff. These are vintage Tommy Hilfiger, just like white tapered jeans. They are a size six. Not sure if I'm gonna make these into cutoffs or not. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Should I just leave them alone or should I cut them? Um, but I just think that this is something people look for. I'm not an expert in Tommy Hilfiger. My friend Shauna actually really like sells a decent amount. So maybe I'll ask her, but um, I do know that that like patch at the back is something that people look for so I'll have to look more into that next I don't remember what are these they're Levi's <laughs> okay so these are just like Levi's pants these feel weird they almost feel like rain pants and they were cut I remember they were cut like this when I grabbed them through like reflective strips at the bottom. I'll have to research these because I have no idea what they are. Are they snow pants or zipper pockets on the side? This is so random. Like you can hear like they're a weird material. Anyway, they are a size. Let's see. Mm. They are a size 32 by 32, so I'm guessing they're men's. They're just kind of like a trouser, like a work, like, like if Lululemon, well, Lululemon does make men's trousers, I feel like that's probably what they're like. Next are this pair of Levi's Petite Boot Cut. Not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Probably just list them as is and probably hope for like 20 bucks.
one of the reasons I love sourcing at the bins is obviously the cost of goods is so cheap, but it kind of lets me experiment with different things and figure out if something works, doesn't work, and the risk is pretty low. So, I mean, I bought 26 things, I paid $26. One of these items will probably pay for the bunch. This is Northern Reflections. Tabs, you know I got this for you. I know you know I got this for you. So they're just like little birds on a branch with a little um, collar. This is coming back. Like, grandma core is a thing, okay? And we've been knowing this. Tabs and I have been on the grandma core train forever. Everyone else is just catching up. <laughs> So this is an extra extra large, which is perfect for me. I love, I'm a size medium, but if I can wear an extra large, extra extra large, I love to because um, body dysmorphia. <laughs> Next, <laughs> this is an Aritzia tank top, I remember. So the tag in here has been taken off, but in here, there is another tag and let's see if I can show you it's oh my god it's so wrinkled the tag it's a Wilfred um so an Aritzia brand and this feels like silk it is the lining is a hundred percent silk so it doesn't have an article number, which is like the newer Aritzia stuff that people really like look for and will pay up for. Um, but I mean, I thought this was a cute piece and if I can get like 15 for it, I'll be happy. Like it's so pretty, so summery. Next, what are these? Jones jeans. So I'm guessing these are just 100% cotton and I got them to make cutoffs. I'm so excited for summer. So they're just like straight leg, but I will cut them into cutoffs. And like I said, my cutoffs, um, most of them I am pricing at 50 and sending out offers for 35 or closet clear out sending out a message saying I'll drop to 36. And they've been selling so I love that and I'm like really trying to like find like a wide range of sizes for cutoffs because everyone needs to have a good pair of cutoffs okay that's just like my mission in life right now this is universal thread which is just um, a target brand but I think their stuff is so cute it's like basic but just so cute and it's just like a little round hem tank top extra extra large I'll probably hope to get like 14 to 16, 17 bucks for that. Maybe less, probably less, maybe like 12. These are Hollister. I think Hollister is back. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of Abercrombie. I thought both of them were back. Anyway, these are just extra small um, camo pants with a raw hem at the bottom and like exposed button fly. The back is elasticized. Love that. I mean, I can't fit in an extra small, but someone can. And these, I don't know, off the top of my head, I would probably list at like 28. We'll see. We'll see. This I thought was so cute. I can't wait to wear this. I do source a lot of things that I would personally wear. Um, and I think that is a strategy that's like helped me in finding my own style and finding my Poshmark style. I mean, I will pick up a lot of things that other people would not care to pick up just because I'm like, I'm excited to list this. So I'm gonna get it. Anyway. So this is a sweater just like with stars and this, I had gotten a sweater last year at the bins that I wore through the summer with cutoffs. I just like did a little French tuck at the front and it was like the perfect slouchy 
sweatshirt. It was, I loved it. And then someone bought it and I was so sad and I've been like looking for a replacement ever since. This might be my replacement this summer. Although it is long, it's like pretty thick knit. So I don't know if I'll be able to wear this for the summer, but it's just like a knit with stars on it. I don't see any tags, but I don't care. I don't, I paid a dollar. So if I can get something at the fans that doesn't have any tags or anything like that, that's fine with me. I will still buy it if I like it. And no one can stop me. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I had a poll on my Instagram about these and I did end up getting them. The brand is Nitro Stretch. These are like total Y2K style, okay? If you were wearing these jeans, you were turning off your computer December 31st, 1999 because you thought bad things were going to happen at midnight, okay? So, here we go. A wide belt buckle at the top. Check. No pockets at the back. Check. JLo made it popular, well, in my head. This is how I remember it. They made this, like, no pocket at the back style when JLo really like started rising to fame and big butts were back in. So no pockets meant your butt was like front and center. I'm just relaying what the teen magazines were telling us at the time, okay? Tiger Beat, teen people, and it's got this super, super, super wide leg. I don't remember what the results of the poll were, but a lot of people did not think I should pick these up. But I said, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. What size are these even? 27. And these are just like a pull on, well, I guess, yeah, there's a zipper under the belt. <clears throat> so you could undo the belt and then zip them. But like how, these are so nostalgic to me. I don't know. Anyone else? Do you think that was a big mistake? I mean, it was a dollar. Again, I'm not gonna overthink something. I mean, it does add up. If I was to go to the bins every day and buy a hundred, oh, it's just a dollar, that would be a problem. But this one might stay a secret because it may make its way to my mom at some point. So as a surprise. So we're just gonna put that there. <laughs> if you wanna know what it is, just DM me on Instagram and I'll send you a private picture. Unless you're my mom, then sorry. Okay, this is John and Jen. Um, Loren, South Swell Posh, was talking about John and Jen the other day. And I don't think the comps are that good. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever picked it up before. Maybe once. I do think, actually, I think I picked it up once and never again. But this is Bins. I will make my money back on this. But John and Jen is a brand that I think people are like, <gasps> but the comps are bad. So just be aware, check the comps, and you're good. So John and Jen, um, Nordstrom brand. I think. I'm like 99% sure. Oh, there's a huge pull back here. But that's so easy to fix. You just put like a bobby pin through. Let's see if I have a bobby pin handy. I don't. Um, you just put the bobby pin through here and then like bring it through the garment and then like let go of the bobby pin and it'll thread the, the pull back through. And then you're good. So it's just like an open cardigan it's hard to show but whoa there's like a hair stuck in there I'll get it cleaned out but yeah it's just like a knit open cardigan it's an extra small I think next oh I love these like little vintage dainty satin lacy lingerie tanks dresses obsessed so this you can style so many ways you can wear it like 
tucked into shorts, jeans, you can wear a turtleneck under, like you can just wear this so many different ways. So, oh, I stopped saying what I would list things at. That, the John and Jen, I would probably hope to get maybe 20 for it. The tank top, I would maybe about the same, 20, 22, we'll see. This is Huntington Rich. This is also something I would wear this summer tucked into cut off jeans, just like a little cute French tuck and this little short sleeve vintage sweatshirt trying to give you the illusion well that didn't really work anyway so I'm excited because I want to keep this a little bit just to like wear it a couple times I will probably list it pretty high like I'll probably list it at like 36 38 and then when I'm done with it drop it right down to like 25 so I still have room to take offers this we're down to the last two items. This is an anthropology brand, Diletta. Anthropology, I will only really pick up at the bins. If I see it at the thrift store, depends on the style. I'll look it up if I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I don't really pick up anthro that much anymore. I just find it's oversaturated. I don't know enough about it. I know that some styles are like really sought after. I don't know what they, I don't know what they are so I don't really bother anyway this is just like a little cute tank top with a tie at the back and yeah and it's a size small and lastly is this Aritzia community community is an Aritzia brand um cardigan I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact cardigan before I looked for any flaws, like pulls, anything like that. I didn't find anything, so I really hope I didn't miss anything, but anyway, and this is a size medium large. So that, again, I would probably hope to get between 20 and 25 for that. Um, Aritzia, you have to have, again, the right pieces to like really make a good profit, and I was never like one of the cool girls wearing Aritzia in high school or like since then so I don't know anything about Aritzia it's not my area of expertise some people know exactly what to look for with Aritzia so I pick it up if I like the style and that's about it so hopefully I didn't tally up but hopefully in my mind I can turn $26 into let's hope for 250 what do you think am I being a little bit too ambitious or is that doable we'll see I will have to hustle and get this stuff listed as soon as possible and um, yeah I'm excited okay let me know should I do more bins hauls or was it just like too much um, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time Bye.